get much better than this one folks i can't wait for the kickoff of this annual battle in the sunshine state and now let's head down to the coin toss it's brought to you by coke zero real coca-cola taste and zero calorie enjoy everything teams are on the field and we're just about ready to open things up he just drills this one he's to the 10 but well, that's just great kickoff coverage right there and you can see a lot of emotion on the field right now the quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive Taken down right around the 14-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. Second and nine. Ball on the 14-yard line. around the 29-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. From their own 29-yard line. First down. And he's level at the 38. Call the game of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. First and ten. Ball on the 45. And he tackles him hard at the 47-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Hey, we got tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Kill, 36. kill. Yeah, the way to stay. Check, check, check. check. <laughs> Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. The and four on the play. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Tight up, tight up. Pull it together. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. Easy. He's tackled at the 37. I'm sure the coaches are going to tell him to calm down and be more careful because I guarantee you, nobody keeps throwing those passes into the defense like that without making a mistake. 
this is the eighth play of the drive. Run to the left there. Ball carrier. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From the 33 yard line, it's second down. And they make the stop at about the 31. Here's play number 10 on the drive. The Seminoles had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Quick pass. Tackle around the 13-yard line. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. Played one. Now this one's scoreless. Upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Well, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. And he adds the extra point. An 11 play, 87 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense, outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he just gets rid of it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 25. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it four and seven. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. What an interception, and he is drilled at the 23-yard line. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First and 10, ball on the 23. Florida State is up seven. Blue 14! 
Brought down at the 24. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 24. Hands it to the back. He's got the corner. Runs on side for a nice gain. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and four. down 10 to go ball on the 47 and he hits him hard at the 50 yard line situation here. It's third and one. Florida State up seven points. Here's a handoff and he's brought down right away. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really is nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. This is kind of a surprising call right here by the coach. This is an obvious punting situation. Florida State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. The Hurricanes have really got some work to do, I think, Kirk, in the second half because from what we've seen from their quarterback so far, if he's their star, it's not shining right now, and they got to find somebody else to light up the sky a little bit. Well, I think collectively as a head coach, an offensive coordinator, a quarterback coach, they're all going to have to get together and take some time to visit with this quarterback at halftime and try to find out if they can somehow get him going. And the other thing to think about is maybe this is for the running backs. Maybe it's this is their week to take some of the pressure off them. Maybe the receivers, the offensive line. When your star isn't playing up to his abilities, he has a tendency to press. Somebody else has to step up their game and take some of the pressure off them. Second and ten. Ball on the 28. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. Florida State leads 7-0. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Gets to about the 17-yard line. The Seminoles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. 
But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Nice run there. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Decides to slide. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22's coming. Mike, Mike. Ready. Line in. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 40. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. We're about set to start things up again. Florida State is up by a touchdown. Gives it to the back. He makes his way to about the 48. From the 48-yard line, first down. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From midfield, second down. It was a great play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Pickup. Florida.
Florida State is up a score. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. 7-0, FSU. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. And he's taken down at the 23. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. He's taken down around the 20-yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Florida State is up seven. He tackles him for a loss. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Oh, I bet the defender wishes he had that one back. Yeah, anytime you have a chance to end a drive, especially in your own end zone, you just got to make that play. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Well, if you like defensive football, you got to love this one. Now, neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game. Still the fourth quarter to be played. It's anybody's game. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. He's going to try and scramble. They'll make the sack. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And it's caught! And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. And he's going to come up with a sack. Caught, and that 
That's a first down. He's tackled around the eight-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Looks to a receiver, touchdown! Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 71-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. The score now, 10-7. The Seminoles will use their first time out of the half. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. Well, I can say this much, Kirk. At least it's tight in the fourth quarter. Well, it is a close game, and neither team's been able to get anything going, whether it's running the football or throwing, and look up at the scoreboard. And at least, as you said, Brad, it's a close game. Who can make a play late to win it? This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. And they get nice yardage on that run. The Hurricanes taking their first time out of the half. Second and six. Ball on the 40-yard line. Just over a minute left. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Miami will take their second time out of the half. Around the 31-yard line. Miami's called their final timeout. From the 31-yard line. First down. Feeds it to the back. He's at the 20. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 14-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 14-yard line. Brought down at the 11. Gain of three on the play. Makes it second and eight. Gets to about the 11-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. And the ball carrier wasn't getting away from that tackle. A lot of concern from his teammates with a guy down on the field. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Florida State is up by three. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it.
And this one's all but wrapped up. The Seminoles with a victory, 10-7. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14.